Giga Texas is 88% done, and the footprint is as big as Boeing. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A quick thanks to the newest Patreons at the $10 level. Welcome to Jay Brown, and thank you for the upgrade to David R. and Norm Store. I'll get to everybody else soon, I promise. Very cool. And please smack the like button early so others might actually get to see this video, since it's the only way YouTube will actually show this to others. Yes, the famously huge Boeing Assembly Building in Everett, Washington, or maybe more accurately, Muckleteo, Washington, is only a mere paltry 4.2 million square feet. And yet, the framed-up footprint in Austin is just as big. Though, if we're counting total square footage, Tesla's factory already has twice that square footage, and it isn't even done. So let's jump right into the weekly progress graph and see what's up. The site prep and foundation are now counted in lockstep, so the addition of new footings along the central corridor helped inch us awfully close to the 100% mark for both of them, and with the final grading just next to it, these should be complete in short order. I had some difficult decisions to make in regards to whether to count these empty patches of just plain old dirt as graded and foundation, you know, footinged, but it appears they're going to be building on them, so yeah, they're done. The framing grew in the central corridor, which is the last place awaiting completion. The pace remains quick, with two cranes lifting steel into place, and a third one managing the deliveries of the steel as they arrive. I believe this area will be complete in the next few weeks, depending on how quickly the concrete footings cure, and at that point, the main emerald footprint in terms of tracking, is going to be kind of done. So, when it comes to other buildings on the site, can we go already? The site's overall progress climbed this week, thanks to all this steel and foundation work, plus the lagging indicators of roof and interior, which are counted more slowly. To my continued surprise, we're still looking at a December completion date, by the numbers, though I again hasten to point out that the numbers are wrong, and it's mathematically impossible to finish in December. With just nine-ish weeks until the end of December, the pace will more likely be that we'll hit 90 to 93 percent in the next couple weeks, three weeks, two, three weeks, and then it will slow down dramatically after that. But no matter, trial production is already underway. Progress on the roof climbed quickly this week, thanks mostly to first layers of decking being added along the central corridor, though a fair amount of the total figure for this week can also be attributed to the lagging indicator that drags up along with the interior completion over the course of 17 weeks. See, we count half when it first goes on and half over the following four months. So this element is likely undercounted, but it will continue to climb quite dramatically in coming weeks. The interior completion saw a nice jump as the number of areas were closed off, marking the biggest week for these lagging interior squares that we have seen yet. Well, these may be overcounted, but the site is just so close to finished it it kind of doesn't matter. So this is what Giga Texas looked like as of October 25th. 2021. And now, let's roll it back to December 14th of last year when this tracker first launched and go through it as we do 
week of a week. To understand the site map, this is the overall footprint of the main building. The orange is the footings, with the darker orange being heavier footings. The gray is the framing work, with the darker gray indicating roof sections. In blue, you see the finished interior closed off space, with darker blue indicating more floors. Yes, we tracked the floors. So the darker the blue, the more floors that there are. The black lines indicate a firewall or expansion joint, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete wall. And as a reminder, this only tracks the main emerald footprint, not any of the other projects around the site, since we haven't seen permits and we don't know what their eventual size and scope will be. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So here it is, and here you go. As of October 25th, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Cybertruck, is 88% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 525 days from groundbreaking on or about December 28th of this very year. Yeah. We sped up by a couple days. I mean, it will actually be done in some capacity well before then, and also not completely done until sometime quite a bit after then. But this has been explained in previous videos in this series, so check out the link in the description if you need more info. We are well on pace to complete around 9 million square feet, but for today we're at 8.8 .8 million square feet, which is 819,000 square meters, and we should have the final figure in just a few weeks. For an added slice of deep fried funzarella, here is what the site looked like when this tracker first launched. Yes. This is how much information I had to go on when I predicted that the site would be done on December, what did I say, 16th? I hope you can agree that there wasn't much information to go on, and yet despite that, and with several significant delays for torrential rain and snowstorms, and significant scope creep making the site even bigger than the initial design, the tracker has held up remarkably well. Yeah, I don't get as many people telling me I'm a madman in the comments anymore, though I guess I still do when it comes to my haircut, but that's a whole separate matter. Thank you to those of you who joined the live stream last week, where we looked at the most shocking and interesting graphs and numerical comparisons of Tesla from the third quarter earnings results. We have a lot of fun with those. And heads up, there will be another live stream this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific as well, though this may move to an hour or two earlier for the following week. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast and smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. And as always, my friends, please stay tuned, please stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the drier side of the Colorado River. Which one is that? And a quick thank you to my amazing gracious Patreons who get early access, a bonus content, an ad-free experience, and to help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. I move this shout out to the end as a thank you to all of you for your generosity and support, which helps me avoid having to pander to YouTube's dreaded and painful algorithm. So... With all sincerity, I thank you guys so much.